Sea King pressure balanced oil filled assembly and oil filling process. Here are the parts you'll need. Begin by staging the PBOF back shell onto the elastomeric tubing hose, followed by the collet. Install the PBOF shell, barb side, into the tubing. Do not lubricate the hose or barb. Slide collet and back shell up towards the shell and hand tighten the back shell. Using a pair of pliers, clamp down on the hex nut. Tighten the back shell using the Glenair 709078K tool to approximately 10 foot pounds. Prior to installation, apply lubricant to the O ring surface. Ensure the O-ring is fully seated using tweezers. Be careful not to nick or cut the O-ring. Feed the cable assembly through the elastomeric tubing. Prepare the insert by removing the shim. Using a tabletop vise, secure the insert. Be mindful not to over-tighten the clamp. Apply a small amount of lubricant to the boot and wire jacket. Next, install the boot. Remove any excess lubricant from conductors. Before terminating wires, feed the insert retaining ring and insert spacer over the wire. To simplify the installation process, tape spacer to wire. Perform a continuity test prior to terminating wires. Before terminating contacts, be sure spacer and boot seals are installed. Apply flux to insert contacts. Be sure shim has been removed from insert. Solder conductor to contact. Clean up the solder joint and remove debris with denatured alcohol. Then blow dry the area with compressed air. Release the insert from the vise. Apply a small amount of lubricant to the cable. Slide sealing boot down over solder joint. Wipe off any excess lubricant and release the insert spacer. Apply lubricant O-ring prior to installation. Install the O-ring using tweezers to seat the seal. Be careful not to nick or cut the O-ring. Install terminated insert into connector. Fully seat the insert with the 709004 installation tool. Slide insert spacer into the PBOF back shell. Install the insert retaining ring. Check that the retaining ring is fully seated in its groove. For the next step, the PBOF back shell may need to be removed from the hose to facilitate attachment to connector. Thread PBOF back shell onto plug. Repeat this process at the opposite end of the cable. Wind cables helically to provide additional length for future repairs. Stuff extra length into elastomeric tubing. Slide collet and clamp nut up to the PBOF back shell. Thread on clamp nut and hand tighten. 
Use pliers to engage the hex nut on the PBOF back shell. Using the Glenair 709078K wrench, torque the clamp nut to 10 foot-pounds. Tighten set screws. Filling the pressure-balanced oil-filled PBOF assembly. Remove access screws. Attach a suitable fill port adapter with 1032 threads to either end of the assembly. Attach hoses as needed. Begin filling PBOF elastomeric tubing with oil. Remove the fill port adapter from one end of the assembly. Reinstall the fill port screw. Remove the other fill port adapter. And reinstall the fill port screw on the other end of the assembly. The assembly is now complete.